It's now four days into this dreadful war um, promoted by Mr. Putin against a completely innocent nation. Four days now uh, that we have to stop and consider the basic, um, uh, the basic actions. Uh, today, four days in, uh, Russia finally admitted that uh, it had casualties. Four days in. So think of the um, think of the families who are who have been suffering for the last four days. The Russian families who have been suffering uh, without knowing that their children have died in this completely meaningless and futile conflict. Uh, we have to ask, what is it to be a statesman? What is it to be a statesperson? Ben Wallace and Boris Johnson. Uh, have certainly come up to the mark. Uh, they've started to appear like the people that they should be, like leaders. Um, definitely Zelensky. What, a, what an extraordinary and inspiring man. Would that we were all like Mr Zelensky. Would that we all had a Mr Zelensky leading our country. But sadly, we also have people like Priti Patel, who... Um, failed to flag up a welcome for Ukrainian refugees, and she let desperate people down. Boris suggested that this was fake news, but um, no, it wasn't. It was fake values, and it was quite rightly turned round by Boris last night. It is high time that uh, Priti Patel, the Home Secretary, left the stage. It's high time she was gone. She's done her job, and she's done it badly. And she should take the Foreign Secretary with her, the minister who attended um, a meeting with uh, Mr Lavrov, you know, as such an, as such a, um, such an experienced uh, diplomat. And it was something that could have had some positive effect. Instead, she displayed a rank ignorance of both history and geography. Um, and this must have seen Mr Lavrov sniggering all the way to compare notes with Mr Putin on Monsieur Macron's efforts at the end of his large table. Yes, our leaders have been humiliated publicly, but I'm afraid in many ways they brought it on themselves. We have to be properly prepared if we are to be proper, if, if we are to project proper states, um, uh, a proper statesmanship. I don't think, I don't think there's a, there's a neutral um, noun for that. Um, but leaders of our country and those people who hold um, the senior offices of state need to be properly prepared. And anything less is unacceptable. Anything less is a reason to resign, frankly. Now, Zelensky is one step ahead of all of them. Uh, you know, he really does come up to the mark. There were times in the last year or so when there were people talking um, about him not actually doing his job properly. That, uh, you know, this was a sort of puppet uh, president, a television president who didn't have the experience. But my goodness, has he come up to the mark. Uh, time and again. And he recognises, as so many others don't seem to recognise, that uh, to be a strong leader, one must talk to Satan, and he is doing exactly that. Lukashenko, a thoroughly evil man, has now agreed to a truce while negotiations happen on his border. And Zelensky made it quite clear he was not going to send his delegation into Belarus itself. What a man. Uh, what, what, he, what he's written is, um, Alex Lukashenko takes full responsibility um, for arranging that all aircraft, helicopters and missiles stationed in Belarus remain grounded during the travel negotiations and the return of the Ukrainian delegation. It can't be any clearer than that. Nevertheless, it's going to be brave people who make up that delegation and who go to those talks on the border. 
Now, he's already, Mr Zelensky has already done more than that. He's already filed allegations of war crimes against Mr Putin. Perhaps it's a negotiating tactic, but it's a strong one. And I think also Mr Zelensky is a morally motivated person. That's why he stood for office in the first place. Putin, in contrast, has rattled his sabres. He's put nuclear weaponry on high alert. Um, and he's ordered the arrest and detention of anyone in Russia suspected of conspiring with or aiding the Ukraine. The sentence now stands at over 20 years. He's had 5,000 people to date arrested in the last four days. His poodle, Medvedev, threatens a return of the death sentence. And the Chechen leader, who of course is part of this uh, cadre of, uh, of, um, of dogs, uh, the Chechen leader, Ramzan Kadyrov, is threatening further aggression and promoting the idea that Mr Zelensky is a coward and has run away from the talks that were offered by Russia, that indeed Mr Zelensky had requested. If there is one person in this story who has bravery and courage and honour and who commands the affection of the world, that is Mr Zelensky. And those um, who ignore that fact, I think, would do so um, at their own cost. And... Uh, I, 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 cannot, I cannot think more highly of this man. I cannot think more highly of him. Anyway, I'm sure there'll be further news later on.